Hello and welcome to the NU series of Drishti IAS. Dr. Dilip Mahalanabis has passed away due to old age related issues and a lung infection. Who is he? What was his discovery that helped during the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War? We are talking about the man who revolutionized health industry by bringing ORS, oral rehydration solution into vogue. So without any further ado, from the perspective of prelims, of course, facts are important from the perspective of mains examination, GS mains paper third, very important. The news about Dr. Mahalanabis, Dilip Mahalanabis and what was his discovery. ORS and WHO about diarrhea and how to use ORS plus a question in the last. It will be crisp and clear moving ahead. Let us talk about the news piece that we have garnered from the Indian Express. Dr. Mahalanabis passes away how he came up with ORS which revolutionized diarrhea treatment. And here only we are going to talk about this. So he was born on November 12th, 1934 and he was born in the state of West Bengal. He studied both in Kolkata and London and while he was studying in Johns Hopkins University International Center for medical research and training, he discovered the oral rehydration therapy. So oral rehydration therapy is basically a therapy which is induced by giving oral supplements for those who are dehydrated. Moving ahead, let's talk about the background. During the 1971 war, when the Indian government decided to liberate Bangladesh, lot of refugee crises occurred in the eastern states of India. The camps that were set up for these refugees were having problems such as they were not getting clean drinking water and sanitization which is the root cause of diarrhea. There was also other problems that intravenous fluids were lacking. Problems of transport were there. Even trained personnels were not there for their administration. The health sector was overstretched with respect to that. Stocks of intravenous fluid, as I said, these were running out. So these were the factors responsible for ORS coming into being. Then the discovery was made as Dr. Mahalanabis, he went to different camps. He saw that this problem is there. So he started giving solution of sugar and salt for hydration and he and his team then prepared solution of salt and glucose in water began storing them in large drums so that people could drink from that and also their relatives could help them drink it and this is an oral form of saline in which 22 grams of glucose as commercial monohydrate was present 3.5 grams sodium chloride as stable salt and 2.5 grams sodium bicarbonate as baking soda per liter of water. The thing was that it had to be given in clean water. So that was also a challenge. Now ORS treatment as it was introduced started working and when it did so then pamphlets describing how to mix salt and glucose and distribute them along the border also started taking place. Information was broadcasted on a clandestine Bangladesh radio station because many people were impacted by this. And soon the fertility rate in Mahalanabis camp, it started coming down to 3% compared with the 20 to 30% earlier. And that, that was seen in camps in which only intravenous fluids that were used. Moving ahead, what happened? WHO came into the picture. Dr. Dhiman Barua, who was the head of the bacterial disease unit of WHO, he visited the camps and started popularizing this particular ORS therapy. The WHO eventually adopted ORS as the standard method for treating cholera and other diarrheal diseases. It recommends currently a combination of sodium chloride and hydrous glucose, potassium chloride and trisodium citrate dihydrate as the ORS formula. This could be asked in prelims, so keep this in mind. Moving ahead, then in July 2019, recently the WHO added co-packaged ORS and zinc to its essential medicine list for children who are suffering from diarrhea and corollar. Okay, so let's talk about diarrhea. According to WHO, the passing of, important you have to remember that, it is the passage of three or more 
lose stools in a day. Lose means lose, not perfectly formed stools or pasty stools. So it should be loose in nature. Now certain countries are impacted by this diarrhea in which India, Nigeria, Afghanistan, Pakistan and Ethiopia are included. According to UNICEF, 1.3 million deaths per year occur because of diarrhea under the age of 5. It is the second largest killer of children who are under the age of 5. Diarrhea, remember that. Alright. And there are many symptoms such as nausea and vomiting is also there. Mucus passing is also there. So, person gets dehydrated, water gets lost and then we have to give ORS. Moving ahead, now legacy is such that on 29th of July, ORS Day is celebrated, World ORS Day is celebrated to highlight the importance of oral rehydration, salts as a cost effective method of health intervention. Alright, moving ahead, now let's talk about the usage of ORS. Many Indian health uh, official websites talk about preparing and using ORS which is available in powder form at health centers and chemists, it's available in powder form. Contents of these packets should be mixed with the correct amount of water in a clean container. Important, clean container and correct amount because if you give too much sugar, that is even worse for the children. Too much salt is also harmful, so correct amount. ORS must be added only to water, no milk, no juice, nothing. Sugar should not be added if ORS is packaged, okay. Then after stirring well, the solution should be given to the child from a clean cup and not a bottle. These are certain guidelines according to the health ministry. The national health portal talks about making a solution of your own if you are not getting the ORS packets. Six level of uh, six level teaspoonfuls of sugar. One spoon is equals to five gram, so thirty gram you can say. Then half a level spoonful of salt. It should be mixed with a liter, and that is. 5-200 ml cups of clean water. Once you stir it properly, it should be stirred properly and then administered. Moving ahead, now let's talk about our question for today. The World ORS Day is celebrated each year on 29th May, 29th August, 29th July, 29th January. Okay, answer this question. If possible, I will try to take your names in the next segment. Thank you so much for watching.